What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today you and I'll be drawing Ash Williams from the Evil Dead. Let's begin by centering our character over on the right side of our page. I'm going to start with the bottom edge of the brow. I'm going to leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left. We're going to bend the eyebrow going up and then out towards the left. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing, going up and out. Let's curl up the inside of the brow and come in and up on both sides. And then we're going to add some thickness to the eyebrows. Let's start back on the left and go up and just taper that towards the inside. Let's fill the inside of the eyebrows in black. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyebrow. On the left side, let's step in, draw a circle. Going all the way around toward the bottom and then just pull that up on the inside. Let's trace the eyes along the inside. We're gonna start at the very top, come all the way around, and back up towards the top, and we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add a small highlight circle along the top of each pupil. and then we'll fill the bottom of the pupils in black. Now we're gonna to move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. Let's start on the left, bend the nose, coming down and then up. Now we wanna move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Now we want to move down and draw in the mouth shifted over towards the right. So we're going to start on the left, come down and up towards the right. It's going to curl around the corner of the mouth, come down, and you just want to tuck that in underneath on the left side. Let's add the edge of the teeth on the right. Start with a straight line coming about halfway, then it's down and in. And it's going to cross this like a T, and then we'll fill that right side area in black. Let's add a bracket along the outside of the mouth. Now that we complete the face, let's move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside left eye, we're going to step out, curve the head. We're going to down, we're going to pull that in underneath the mouth, go across, and pull that up on the right side. Let's draw the inside edge of the hairline. Starting back on the left, go up and in around the eyebrows. And this out and then up towards the top. Now we're going to add that curl coming across the forehead. So it's starting back on the right, go in, come down, and then just curl that up. Let's go back over towards the top right. We're going to add the seam of the hair. We're going to go out and then up. Now we're draw the top of the head going up. Come down, just taper down towards that point. Let's add another layer. Start from the top of the head, go up, come down, and then curl that out. And I'm just going to tuck that up underneath. Let's add one little curl on the side, coming down and out. Just go across the top of the head and up. Let's go back to the top and add the third layer coming around the side of the head and then pull that out and then just tuck that in toward the side. Now we're going to move back down and draw in the ears. Let's start on the left side of the head, curl this up, come down and just pull that in. Let's line it up on the right, going all the way around and then in. And now we want to close off the side of the head. Let's start on the left side. It's going to bend this out and down. Let's add a curl on the end and just tuck that in on top of the ear. Let's go to the top right, going around and down. And add that curl going out and then pull that in on top of the ear. Now we'll go back and add those folds inside the ear. Starting from the top, going up and out come back to the inside and add a hook. 
I'm gonna splash some blood across the head. I'm gonna start in the center, and then add a drip. And then down in between the eyes. Pull this back up. Let's add a shorter drip on the right side. Go up and then blend that out. Let's add one coming across the left side. Starting from the outside of the cheek, come down and in. Just gonna add that drip coming down and up. Add a few smaller drips going up and then down towards the side. Let's go over towards the right side. I'm just gonna pull this in, come down. Just gonna bend this around and then up towards the side. And we're gonna add a few splash marks, these small circles on the inside. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're gonna start over on the left side, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. Move over towards the right, go out and then down towards the same height. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. Step up, draw that same curve for the top of the belt. Let's leave a gap in the center, draw two lines from the side of the belt buckle and I'll trace this rectangle along the inside. I'm also gonna add two belt loops on either side, with two lines. And I'm gonna go back up to the top and draw on the collar. Let's start with a point in the center. And go up and out towards the left and right side. Halfway down the side of the collar, I'm just gonna angle this down and out. Go up and out underneath the head. Now you wanna add those straps going across the body. Let's start on the top of the body on the left. I'm gonna bend this down, go across, and then out towards the right hip. Now underneath the collar, we're gonna trace that same curve going across. Let's do the same thing going from the top right down towards the bottom left. We're gonna go in behind the center strap, continue over, and trace this along the top. Now let's go back to the collar in the center, draw a straight line coming down in behind those straps. Let's add that strap across the shoulder. From the top of the body, step out, bend this around, down and in. And then in the middle of each strap, draw two straight lines going across. Now we're gonna come back to the arms after we've drawn in the legs. From the bottom of the buckle, let's step down, add a curve, going up, and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, bend this down and then up towards the outside of the foot. Now from the left side, we draw the top of the foot, bending this up and curve this down, aiming towards the heel, Bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now I want to add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. So we take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Now going back up to the hips, let's draw the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left, bend this out, and then down on top of the feet. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw on the arms. I wanna start on the right side and tear up the sleeve. Start from the top of the strap, bend this out and then up. I'm just gonna draw a series of curves coming around and just tuck that in towards the side of the strap. Let's go to the bottom of the strap, draw the inside of the arm. Bend this out and then down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, draw a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers, starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down and around that bracket, come down to the side, add that second finger, and then the third finger, we're gonna blend into the arm, going up and then in underneath those folds. I'm gonna add some blood along the outside of the arm. Start from the top, bend this around and then down, add that drip, come down and then back up, and a few small circles on the inside. Now on the left side, we're gonna bend the arm up in towards the chainsaw. We'll start from the top of that strap, bend the arm going out, 
and then down towards the elbow. Now you want to create an overlap, so you're going to step in, draw a straight angle line going up. Let's overlap the edge of the chainsaw on top of the arm. So I step up, bend this down, and then out. From the bottom, let's step up, bend the forearm, coming down and then in towards the elbow, bend it up towards the side of the body. Let's add a strap across the wrist, stepping in, draw that same curve. Now from the base of the chainsaw, we want to go wider as we go up towards the top. So we're going to add that curve out, close off the top with another curve. Let's add a circle in the center for the vent. Now in here in the center we draw an angled line, leaving a gap on the ends, add a shorter line along the top and the bottom. Let's add a handle on the top, we step in, draw two straight angle lines going in towards the head. I'm just going to round up the corners, come down, and then round up the bottom. Let's trace this along the inside. Now we're going to draw in the blade. From the top corners, let's step in, draw two straight angle lines. We're going to follow the angle of the arm, going up and then out, go to the top, and do the same thing. Let's close off the top with a half circle, going all the way around and then back down. Let's add some blood across the top, starting from the outside, come around, add a couple drips, add a longer drip coming all the way down towards the bottom, step in, close off the inside. Let's add a couple small circles for that splash. Now I want to trace this blade along the inside going in behind the blood. So we start from the top, trace this down in behind, continue along the bottom, and on the right. Now I'm going to show you a simple method to add the teeth around the blade. Starting from the bottom, let's step up, draw a short angle line, leave a gap, and do that again. Now I'm just going to repeat this all the way up towards the top. I'm just going to bend around, so just aiming towards the center of the blade. And work away along the inside. Now from the tip of each line, we're just going to angle this down and back. And again, just working our way around the top and then along the inside. Let's sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Ash Williams from The Evil Dead. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month or catch more free tutorials on our Excel sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. So subscribe or join today.